Hello and good afternoon. It is Friday afternoon, 3.30 Brisbane time. So I don't know what time it is where you are, but it's 3.30 in the afternoon and that means it is time for Bubbles and Bras. And today, um, it's slightly different actually. Well, I thought I'd stay in with the, um, with the theme. So if you've been watching the last couple of um, Bras and Bubbles, you've seen that I have been drinking Prosecco Bubbles. So we're staying with the Ital Italian theme today, and I have a sneaky suspicion that my husband is not very sad if I don't share this with him. Um, he was very sad the last couple of times, um, but I don't think he'll be that keen to share this one with me because today's Italian bubbles are, ta-da, San Pellegrino. Yes. It's bubbly water. And I will share the screen with some background information on San Pellegrino. Because this bubbly water is Italian, just like the Prosecco we've been drinking in the last two weeks. Um, but it is 120 years old this year. So it is a bit of an uh, anniversary year for San Pellegrino. And the reason why I'm drinking um, sparkly water today and not a Prosecco or a Champagne is because I am quite busy this weekend. Tomorrow is a big day of judging for me. So for those of you who are not um, in the horsey sports um when you are doing or riding dressage you uh, have a judge and in order to be a judge you have to be accredited and in order to be accredited you have to go through a lot of steps um there's tests that you have to do and you have to do what they call shadow judging is where you judge next to the real judge and uh, at the end you compare notes and to see if you're doing uh if you're doing the right thing if you're um within margin um of what an um accredited and more experienced judge um uh, will do, do and um you don't need to see the pellegrino side anymore do you because you know you know what it is now so cheers so the um, the shadow judging is tomorrow, and I am shadow judging a large class of 22 riders in the novice class. And I'm a little bit nervous about it because it's the first time I'm doing a, uh, a large novice class. So I need to stay clear, crisp, and on the ball. So I'm having mineral water today. So Still technically bubbles. So, um, yep, all good. So let's talk about the Kulin Brass today. And um, what I was thinking of doing is go through the measurements for the brass because a lot of the questions we're getting, um, oh, and by the way, if you have questions, ask them in the chat or in the comments and I can um, talk to you um, live on, uh, on the show today. But the questions, uh, oh, sorry, the measurement of the brass are really, really important. So in order for you to know what size you are, you need to measure. And the reason why I'm having this discussion with you about measurement is because every brand of bra has a slightly different design. And what I've learned in the last 10 years of um, importing the Kulin sports brass into Australia is that Australian brands are a little bit more generous than European brands. And probably the American brands, I don't have a lot of experience with the American brands, but I'm assuming that they're a little bit generous as well. So if you're buying a European brand bra like Kulin, and I'll show you the wash bag again, just to remind you that we have a wash bag. Um, so the Kulin brass are European. So the design is slightly different from what you consider to be your standard Australian sports brass. So it's super important that you measure before you make a decision. So before I show you how to measure, let's have a look at the Kulin website because I've pulled up the site for you. And as you can see, when you go all the way down in the site, you go all the way to the bottom, there is a tab here that says Kulin sizing. So everything I'm going to talk to you today is also on this page on the website. So super important, before you buy anything, 
measure first. And I wanted to demonstrate with two brows. So I've got two brows in the violet eyes color, and I'll just click this one away. We'll get back to that one um, a little bit later on. So this is the Amsterdam, the Amsterdam in violet eyes. And I've sh I showed you this one last week as well, this beautiful Amsterdam in violet eyes color. So this is a size 10C. So I'll show you in the camera. So this is a, oh, here we go. It's a bit fuzzy, 10C. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the European size is here as well. See that? 70C. So the European size is 70C. The Australian size is 10C. And that gives away how the, how the European brands measure their bra sizes. The 70 is the underband. So that is the elastic under your breasts. So if you have a size 10, this will be, when it's stretched out, this will be roughly 70 centimeters. So if you want to make sure that you are a size 10, it should be around, oh, hang on, let me just stand up a little bit. Around here, it should be 70 centimeters, roughly. This size that I've got here in the Barcelona is a size 12. Again, I'll show you on the tag. See, size 12D, which is 75D. So that gives away how the sizes are built up. So every step going from a size 8 to a size 10, there's 5 centimeters in between. From a size 10 to a size 12, there's 5 centimeters in between. From a size 12 to a size 14, there's 5 centimeters in between. So let me show you the website again because it all makes sense now when you look at it. See that? So when you look at the sizing, the European sizes here, 65, size 8, 70, size 10, 75, size 12, etc. So that is what you measure underneath your breasts. And when you measure, make sure you measure it really, really tight because your measuring tape doesn't have elastic. And I did bring a measure. So, see, there's no elastic in your measuring tape, but there is elastic in your underband, in your bra. So when you measure under your breasts, it's important that you go quite tight under here before you pull it. So you really have to sort of go quite tightly. And the reason for that, I've learned, like, you know, I've had breasts my entire life, duh. <laughs> but I've learned in the last couple of years that most of the support from a bra actually comes from the underband, which makes total sense. Because if your bra is too wide, if this around your ribs is too wide, your bra will slide up and down. And the more it slides up and down, the less support you have because it can't give you that support from here because it's sliding up and down. So when you measure, make sure you measure quite tightly around your ribs, just under your breast. So that is measurement number one. So then we, when we go back to the website again, you can see that there's another measurement. So there's measurement number two, and that is on the horizontal line. So the measurements on the horizontal line, they are the measurements around your breast. So at the furthest part away from your ribs. So that's really important that when you measure, so you measure under your breasts here, like as tight as possible. And then the next measurement, you go where your breasts are the furthest away from your ribs. And that is your cup size, because again, cup sizes go by centimeters away from your your ribs and it's about an inch for each cup size so when you um, are a 10 c or a 10 d there'll be about an inch about two and a half centimeters difference in this measurement so that's why there's two measurements so one around your ribs one around your breasts and those two measurements will give you roughly your um, your bra size. And I say roughly because, you know, some people have this longer 
or it's wider here. You know, it, it's all a bit different. Every, every person is unique in that sense. But those two measurements will give you a really good indication of where your bra size is sitting. So again, I'll show you with these two bras. So the Amsterdam is a size 10 and the Barcelona is a size 12. So if we put them next to each other, see the difference? So that's about that five centimeters difference. So make sure you measure. If you're unsure, and, you know, a lot of us are unsure because it's quite fiddly. Like, how, how tight should I be here? How wide should I be there? It, it is quite fiddly. So if you're unsure, go to the website again and don't just order a bra. Go to, hang on, I'll show you. So when you go to sports bras, all sports bras, see this one here? That's our try at home set. So if you're unsure about your sizing, even after you've measured, your best option or your best bet is to um, get the try at home set. So basically what that is, is that you fill out what the color you want, um, roughly your measurements. And as you can see, it's, it's a range like, my under, under bust, so around your ribs, is 85 to 90 centimeters. Around the bust, it's around the 116 centimeters. So that gives us an idea of the size ranges we can send you. So what happens when you buy a tried home set? This is basically a deposit. So you pay a deposit for two bras. We send you five bras. So those five bras will be very close in their sizing. That way you can try at home which of those sizing and which of those styles fits you best. So that is a service that we offer. And a lot of women have done this and loved it because often, because of the differences between brands, often um, you're not 100% sure um, if you are the size that you think you are. So the tried home set is really good for that. Um, what else did I wanted to talk to you about? The, uh, the colors again, like the violet eyes, invisible under white. I was going to show it to you today uh, with my white riding gear because I was supposed to have a riding lesson this afternoon, but that got canceled. So that's for another day. Um, but yeah, now you can see how soft and how satiny this bra is. It definitely doesn't show under um, any white or light colored clothing. So that's a, that's a really big bonus. Um, the specials for this weekend, because I know you are hanging out for that. The specials for this weekend, and I have it on a pretty overlay, is the Bubbles and Bras discount for the weekend. So the Bubbles and Bras discount for the weekend of the 18th of February. So this is valid from now until Sunday night. So between now and Sunday night, if you buy one bra, you pay full price. So that's $99.95. If you buy two bras, you get 10% discount over the entire order. If you buy three or more, you get 20% discount over the entire order. So it's sort of like stacking on top of each other. So the more you purchase, and especially when you are very clear on your sizing and the type of bra that you um, that you would like, then this is a really good, um, really good offer. So use code QLIN. So I have a capital Q, Q-L-I-N-N-1802. So QLIN1802. That's your code for this weekend, and um, that will give you your discount for your bras. And there's one more thing that I wanted to show you, and I'm, I'm super excited about this one. It's, um, it's actually a message that I um, totally random. Uh, a lady messaged me this morning because um, I was giving away some stuff on Facebook, and a local, local lady, she goes like, well, actually... My sister lives in Tasmania and she loves your Culin bras. That's all she wears when she exercises, when she does activities. And totally random because I 
don't know this lady, lovely lady, and her sister didn't know that Hulin was a Queensland um, product. So that was, they were like, that's, yeah, wow. So I just love hearing these stories because it really, it makes me so proud that we as a small team um, can make so many women so happy and comfortable and supported. And that, um, yeah, I really, really love that. Um, you also noticed that the Facebook site, the Facebook shop is under, um, cons well, under construction. So we're, we're redoing all the photos. And actually today, uh, a friend of mine sent me a, um, a text that there's a whole big Twitter conversation going on at the moment, um, sparked by a new ad campaign by Adidas, um, you know, the sports clothing brand, um, because Facebook, Instagram are very, very restrictive of what you can and cannot show. So they've do, they're have doing a, um, a campaign on um, Twitter, free the nipple, uh, because they just want to give a bit of pushback on uh, the fact that breasts are normal. Breasts are not sexual things. Breasts are normal body parts, and they come in all shapes and sizes. L just like we've been saying for the last 10 years, like women come in all shapes and sizes and we want to support women of all shapes and sizes so that nobody's held back in doing what they love doing. Um, so I was very proud that, um, that a brand like Adidas is also uh, picking up on that trend that we've been doing for the past 10 years. Uh, but they're also really pushing back on the censorship that's happening on Facebook. So yay. <laughs> I'm showing you the Bubbles and Bra discount again. And um, so happy shopping, shopping this weekend. As I said, I'm going to be busy trying to increase my level of judging that I'm allowed to do because I'm trying to upgrade my, uh, my judging this year, as I said. And um, yeah, enjoy your weekend. Have a lovely time. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions during the week, uh, feel free to email us at um, info at qlin.com.au. Uh, go to the website, have a look, have a browse around. If you're unsure about sizing, just get the tried home pack because with the five bras, there's always a size that, um, that fits you. And if there's not, you can send them back free of charge and um, we'll replace them with a different sizing because we really want you to have a size that fits you. I want you to be comfortable. We want you to be supported and not feel restricted and restrained by the bra that you're wearing. So whether it is a Amsterdam bra, which is up to a double D cup, as I said last week, or if it is a Barcelona sports bra, which goes up to a H cup, or the Khan bra that doesn't have underwires and go to, goes to a 22 H cup, it doesn't matter what size of bra you have or what style you love. We want you to be comfortable and supported. So... That's it for me today, and I wish you a lovely weekend, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye for now.